Hello, this is a video to show you how to upload your uh, evaluated performance video to YouTube. So here I am, I'm logged into YouTube and I'm on the opening page. On the upper right side, there is a little video uh, icon here that when you hover over it, it says create. You want to click that and then you'll get a down drop down menu that says upload video go live. You want to click upload video. It will now then ask you to select files or drag and drop videos to upload. You could certainly just grab the video file that you need. In this case, I have my AAA video and I can just drag it over and drop it here. Um, another method you can do to do this is just click select files and you'll get a little dialog box and you can pick the file that you need also. That is another way you could do it. So I'm going to take the video file and do open. So now it's uploading. Now right here where it says the title, this is important. Um, uh, we need you to title the video in the pop in the following way. You put your last name, comma, your first name, then you put your instrument, and then the piece that you're doing. You don't need the composer. You could put the composer as well, but it just it needs to have the name of the piece that you are performing. Now, as you page down, all this other stuff's not really important until you get to um, the audience that's going to have you select whether it's made for kids, just put no, um, only because that keeps it from being restricted. Um, then you're going to go to this button down here, next, click that, skip this page, you can just go to next. Now here's the next part that's very important. You want to click unlisted. What these mean here is private means that only you can see it. Public means anybody could search and find your video, but unlisted means anyone that you provide a video link with can watch your video. So you want to click that unlisted category that you want. Um, schedule, you can schedule a date, all that kind of stuff doesn't really matter at this point. Now, Right over here, this video link is special to your actual video. You may copy this right now, or you can copy it when you're done. Either way, um, I am going to actually, um, I'm going to copy it later. So then you just come over to this button over here where it says, let me move this out of the way. You see how it says save. You just click that. And now it's going to process the video and upload it to YouTube. And notice that it has the title, the first name, last name, last name, first name, the instrument, and then the title of the piece. Now, if I push close, you'll also see that on this page, it has the channel videos, like all the different things that have been uploaded. If this is your first video, then that would be your first time. Now, when you take your cursor and you hover over here, you'll see details, analytics, comments, view on YouTube, options. If you click this button, the options, and it says get shareable link, you just need to click that. Now it says link copied to clipboard. Now you have the link for this video. Another way you can do that is when this video is all finished, you can actually click the video and you'll see the actual video view on YouTube. If I click it, here's the YouTube video. This is what it'll look like Ah, stop. This is what it will look like when you actually watch it. So now over here, it says share. You can click share. You will also get this and push copy. Now I have this copy to my clipboard. This is the address that you will send when you email us this video. So the next step I'm gonna go over is now that you've uploaded your video, it's actually that simple to do. Um, then you'll go to your email. So in this case, I'm going to go to my email. I'm going to click compose and oops, let's do that again. Um, in the data, I'm going to right click and paste. There's my YouTube video link. 
that I need. You don't have to do anything else. That would actually be enough. In the subject of your email, you're going to put the last name, first name, the instrument, and then the piece, just like you did for the video. Okay. And then recipients, it's going to be eval at foxriveracademy.com. That's who you're going to send it to. There's one last step to send it, and that is you can attach files. So you want to attach the sheet music that you have. In this case, I'm going to go to here and do AA sheet music. Some of your sheet music might be found electronically. Other times you can take pictures of it or use a scanning feature. I know iPhones have um, a scanning feature in the notes section that's extremely helpful. But even if you just took photographs of it and attached those, that's also acceptable. So the email that's going to evaluation, eval at foxriveracademy.com will contain your link. It will have your sheet music attached and in the title, last name, first instrument and title and you just push send and then you're all finished so hopefully this video helps you out that uh, you'll be able to um, be able to do this but please reach out to us if you need any assistance as well good luck and we look forward to seeing you